Heralded as one of the 20th century's most unique voices in concert music, George Crum has won awards, accolades, and admirers the world over. And what makes his jarring, haunting compositions stunningly different is a combination of who he is and where he came from. He was born in Charleston in 1929 and grew up in a home located at 212 Greenbrier Street, precisely where the Cultural Center stands today. His father, clarinetist George Henry Crum Sr., and his mother, cellist Vivian Reed Crum, both played with the Charleston Symphony. In 1949, he married Elizabeth May Brown, also a Charleston native. Crum graduated from Charleston's Mason School of Music in 1950 and earned a master's at the University of Illinois. He studied in Berlin as a Fulbright scholar, then returned to the U.S. and earned a Ph.D. from the University of Michigan. He joined the staff of the University of Pennsylvania in 1965. Early in his career, Crum said he was unable to compose in a traditional format. Like an artist who gazes in wonderment at the world around him, he makes use of found sounds and objects to create wildly original pieces. Night of the Four Moons was inspired by the Apollo 11 lunar landing, while Black Angels, later recorded by the Kronos Quartet, evokes a dark, surreal soundscape of the Vietnam War. Echoes of Time and the River earned him the Pulitzer Prize in 1968, and Star Child won a Grammy for Best Contemporary Composition in 2001. His compositions often required musicians to rethink the way they play. Pianists must pluck the strings and employ a variety of items like chisels, paper clips, and marbles to alter the sound. In some of his orchestral pieces, musicians, sometimes masked, are instructed to walk around the stage blowing air, but not notes, through their horns. Singers are sometimes challenged with caterwauling vocal gymnastics. As a child, Crum transcribed for his father and developed an appreciation for calligraphy. With the idea that his music should look as evocative as it sounds, even his scores are works of art, painstakingly written out in spirals, appearing to be engraved on mutant staves, and in 1972's Macrocosmos, written in the shape of a peace sign. Inspired both by the sound and looks of his scores, numerous dance companies have choreographed his work. Since his retirement from teaching in 1997, Crum now spends his time composing and traveling for performances and recording sessions. In October 2008, Carnegie Hall will honor him with a special George Crum Making Music concert. <laughs> 